Hello and welcome to this Functional Skills ICT tutorial. Um, this one's just going to be focused on the if and and formula. And um, there is another video where I've done a full sort of walkthrough of this particular mock exam that we're using, uh, which is on City and Girls website. So do have a look at that one if you want to have a go at the full question. Um, however, I'm just going to do the quick if and and part. In a separate video if you wanted to just concentrate on that bit basically so um we've got the where we are in terms of the table have all the information is in there that we need so um with this table it's all about where a team of people have bought some products and then tried to sell them on at a higher price and make some profit on it basically so you can see how much money they've made um what the profit percentage is, so how much of a profit have they made? So you see, for Rebecca here, she bought some speakers for 75p and sold them on at £10.80, which has given her a profit percentage of uh, 1,340%. <laughs> so quite a huge um, profit. They've all got a target profit percentage of 100%, so they all needed to make 100% profit. And they've also got some like customer feedback, if you like, percentages. So they need a, a target percentage of 99.5%. Okay, so in terms of the if and and part of this question, um, we're looking at this part here on the question sheet, which is next to each person, use a formula or function that returns the words qualify seller of the month if both uh, the target profit percentage and the target feedback percentage are met. If they're not met, then the words does not qualify should be returned. Okay, so um, I always say um, I would never expect you to remember how to fully type out a formula in this box because I think that adds a lot of pressure on you uh, to remember it. And I think um, certainly in an exam, it takes up a lot of time remembering how to do that. You could be sitting there think, trying it for ages and it might take a while to get it right um, if you can see obviously there it's quite a short formula but I still wouldn't even expect you to remember how to type all that out to be honest but certainly with this one it's a lot more complicated so always use this FX button insert function button which is at the side of the uh, of the text bar and um, I mean I am sort of breaking my own rule with, it in, with this a little bit because you do have to remember how to type in the and part of this formula however it's not too bad so we'll do the first if the main bulk of the uh, of the actual formula so um we'll just do the first part so if the target profit is met basically then dis uh, display these words so go on insert function click on the if or select the if function press ok and this window will come up so basically what we want to do is to say if um, so for for example for Julie in row two if if G2 which is her profit percentage is higher than or more than or equal to the target percentage which is in F22 now we have to use absolute cell references with this because that will lock that in place so that on every other row it's always going to use that cell reference so for absolute cell references you put a dollar sign in what do we need f and another dollar to lock in row 22 so that's what it's saying in a minute so if g2 is more than or equal to so if g2 is more than or equal to that as you can see it's already given us the result which is false it's not dramatically less <laughs> than 100 percent profit she's actually made a loss uh, so if it's true but uh, as you can see here qualify seller of the month so we just type that in qualify seller of the month and if it's not met so if if false display the words does not qualify and press OK so as you can see it's then automatically added all of the results in to the table um, just to show you the absolute cell references if I move down the row 
look at the uh, text bar here, you'll see the F22 is always staying the same, but the actual G number is going down in line with each person's profit, individual profit percentage. Okay, so as you can see from that, that's why I would not expect you to remember how to type it all out, uh, the whole lot, because it's a lot of stuff to remember there. And if you've got to try and remember, uh, firstly, how to, to set up the equals if bracket, etc., and then the actual argument there, and then where to put your speech marks, put your commas, and then where to close your bracket off. It's just a lot to remember, so I would never expect you to remember all of that especially in an exam, because that's wasting some valuable time, really. Um, just do it that way. Use the if function for your first part of your information. Okay, so now we need to add the and in. So we need to take into account the uh, feedback percentage in the target. So we need to use the and. Now, to do that, you'll see where the if and the bracket is. Click in uh, past the bracket. And type in and and add another bracket so that's what that's doing is it's the first bracket is taking into account the whole lot for the if and then the and is basically just add letting us add another argument in or logical um step so the first logical step uh, which we had in the first if was g2 uh, more than or equal to f22 uh, what this is basically doing is, as I say, it's just giving us a, the, the opportunity to add another argument in by putting that and in. So with this, we need to do H2 for Julie's feedback. So again, it's exactly the same as the first one, but we're just changing the cell references. So if it's more than or equal to uh, absolute cell reference for H and absolute cell reference for row 22. Uh, then we need to put a bracket in to close that off and then put a comma in. Um, so and then it's in line with the initial um, if formula that was there already. So all we've really added in was uh, the bracket there and the bracket there in the end and then the second argument. So there's not really much you're adding in. So if we press OK, you'll see that that's now worked for all of them. And they're all in there. Uh, so out of all of that, there's only one person that's qualified for the seller of the month, which is Thomas. Um, but that's all you need to do. So you just need to type in and bracket, add in your second argument, and close it off uh, with the bracket there, put a comma at the end. That's it. So we'll do another, just another quick run through, just so you can see me doing it again. So we'll do the Initial if for the first part, press OK. The logical test, so what are we what are we looking for? So if G2 is more than or equal to F with the uh, dollar sign, 22 with the dollar sign, lock those in place. Qualify seller of the month, if it's true not true it's coming up with a false so it's going to display does not qualify press ok there we go so as you can see I mean if we just compare this to what the and was before there was already that comma there which was separating your argument to what's going to be displayed. Um, so really, we're, we're not even adding that comma in because it's already there. So if, pop it in there again. So just in front of the bracket, type in and and add another bracket. Go to the 22. We're doing it slightly different this time, just in terms of where I put the comma. But I put a comma in to say I'm going to put a new argument in h2 more than or equal to dollar h dollar 22 close bracket press ok and there you go it's all done it so really all, all we've added in is from the bracket back bracket down to 
and including that first comma where the 22 finishes for F22. And then we've added the, another bracket and AND, and that's all you need to add in from that. So your actual argument is exactly the same as the first one. Um, or your, your main important bit is, is knowing to put a, put a comma in there to say there's going to be another argument, and then make sure your brackets are in there, your AND. And that's it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it's been useful. Um, just keep practicing. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. I only learned how to do this bit the other day. <laughs> so it's fairly straightforward once you know what you're doing and you've, you've practiced it a couple of times. You should still, you should pick it up quite easily. Um, but that's it for today. Thank you very much and good luck with your exam.